In this tutorial I quickly show you how to animate the armature layer on the using the bones tool you can animate your armature layer set keyframes and then also animate the parent movie clip to do various things and this is not to showcase my animation or drawing skills because obviously I have none this is a, a rigging and the timeline animation techniques tutorial <laughs> In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to do some cool animation techniques using bones, the timeline, maybe some scaling in Flash CS4 Professional. This is a Flash CS4 only tutorial because we'll be using bones. So I'm going to click Action Script 3 project, but you can uh, click the Action Script 2 project. We're not going to be using any Action Script here. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do is start with. Uh, Let's just make our character. Start with the oval tool. And we're not going to want any stroke. So let's remove the stroke before we start drawing ovals out. Okay, so there's our little guy. There's a head. There's a torso. There's a thigh. There's a shin and a foot. And here's a bicep. forearm and a hand okay so let's go ahead and move this head out of the way put it in the center let's highlight all this stuff and get it over here all then we'll start piecing them together and then we'll show you how to rig them up I'm sure you guys have seen bones rigging before but I'm not sure if you've seen bones rigging the armature animation armature timeline animations and that's what I'm gonna be going into actually let's move this over a little and just highlight all these control C control shift V to paste in place go up to modify transform flip horizontal then you'll get copies those copies that we pasted in place will flip on their horizontal plane and then we can bring this back here. There we go. Now let's start piecing them together. And once we bring all these drawing symbols together and they go into place, um, it becomes one shape, one solid shape. And you'll see what I mean, and you know what I mean if you work in flash a lot because you do it all the time okay so let's get these stuck in here all actually before I do that I'm gonna skew those legs just a little bit just a little bit like that there you go it's a oh shoot okay there we go all right, now let's get the other one on. Bada bing, bada boom. It's funny. Some guy commented on one of my tutorials, and he said it sounds like a Goodfellas tutorial. I said, yeah, it cracked me up. It's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, it's not perfect, not pretty, but it's mine. Spider-Man. Actually, I'm going to give mine little horns and then show you how you, if you don't know how to use the pen tool. Get this sort of dress up and sort of putting something like that. Bring this up here. Something like that. Shape it the way you want it. Paint bucket. Paint it. Double click it. Single click. Actually, double click just the edge press control X get that out of there we don't want it now we'll put the up oh, that's too big I'm gonna try and make it match up my little guy my little guy's horns little guy I got on my profile or on my channel page there we go press control C control shift V do that modify transform thing horizontal get it into place booyah okay now we have one solid shape 
the little devil or whatever character you're making and then we're going to go to actually let's go ahead and right click them convert to a symbol movie clip call them devil whatever yours is whatever you want to name it and center registration is fine movie clip okay now what we want to do is double click inside go back to where we can access our symbol here just like we were before and now we're on its inner timeline you can see we're inside of a movie clip here named devil and there's the main timeline if I click this booyah I'm back at the main timeline double click into the movie clip symbol and I'm inside of that movie clips timeline and it's good to know if you're a beginner watching this tutorial these are separate timelines you do different animations and tweens on both okay so what I'm gonna do is rig this bad boy up so you don't even have to have it selected once you select this bone tool here and you start uh, rigging your your armature it's gonna give you an armature layer automatically right above your layer here okay and it's gonna make the the symbol and the armature one it's going to unite them okay so let's just start right here actually let's zoom in a little to 200 that's better let's start right here we're going to come down to where point to where the shoulders we can come off with another axis there another rig rigging axis or center point whatever you want to call it when we go to make the arms and I'm just clicking and dragging it's very simple the bone tool kind of goes where it intuitively should it wants to go it'll kind of guide you a little bit uh, I'm sure you've seen rigging before but maybe not on a whole character a complete skeleton that's what I'm going to show you go to here yeah that'll work or maybe I should go to there yeah let's go to there then to there then to the hand so we go from center rig point shoulder forearm drag to hand and I'm just clicking and dragging alright so now we have a full rig full skeletal rig on our little dude alright and you can see if you grab any part of him it stays together just like a skeleton would and that's the beauty of boons and you can see it's going to deform your character a little bit but for this example I don't care you can rig up with movie clips if you wanted I do believe so let's get him to where we want him to be in his starting position and I don't know what I'm gonna make him do but I'm gonna animate him somehow let's bring this thing up well let's do this and then let's grab his shoulder bring it back up that's not what I wanted to do Oh well. It's going to deform my face. But that's alright. Okay, so let's just have him jump in the air. How about that? So we'll make him kind of look like he's ready to push into the ground like Keanu Reeves did in The Matrix and break the cement when he flies into the air that's what we'll make nah I'm just kidding but we'll get him uh, to where he's gonna jump into the air and that will be the animation so there he is ready to take flight we're ready to jump so now we have our starting uh, what do you call it form you have your starting form for your armature in frame one. So in order to get it to animate, the armature to animate, and I'm gonna make mine go like really slow mo so you can see it really, really good. Let's go out to maybe frame fifty and press F six create a keyframe and it puts an animation tween there 
automatically. And you right click it, you can remove the armature if you like. And there's a couple of other options in there you might want to dig into. But I don't have all the time in the world, so I'm not going to. So uh, now at this point here at frame 50, we're going to reposition the armature to kind of be like he's he has jumped and he's in the air and what's cool is the the timeline in the between will take care of all the transition frames all you gotta do is keyframe it it's kinda like the old cartoonists used to work the master cartooner would uh, draw the keyframes out and the, the other cartoonists the not so good cartoonists well really good cartoonists but the not the master cartoonists would come in and uh, do all of the transition frames in between the keyframes so that's what that does you see so your artist would draw that and then he would draw frame 50 and then the transition artist would draw 49 say at Disney back in the day 49 from 2 to 49 the main, the main artist would just do 1 and 50 okay so now that we have that part of the animation we can go out as the main artist and click 100 F6 and now it'll give us another keyframe there and on that keyframe what you want to do is have uh, another repositioning of the armature maybe kinda like uh, he landed or something or maybe we'll just make him splat if I can let's see uh, Actually, let's make one more where he's, where he's coming down. Make him kind of like where he's looking like he's wanting to land. Hello. There it is. Pick this knee up a little. This one up a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And so that would be him landing. And then do one more out 150. Press F6. And now we'll kind of bring him back to a relaxed a relaxed state. Grab this. Oh, that's not relaxed. you can do some pretty interesting things with the bone tool I'm getting all kind of ideas just as I play around here ah face stretching okay well this is more about just an armature animation so let's uh, create a, another frame uh, another layer sorry and put it on top, make a keyframe, press F6, and then we're going to access the actions panel to make sure at the end of the animation it stops and it doesn't loop on itself. And why is my panel so small? You stupid panel. Okay. So let's type in, press F9 to open that, by the way. F T O P, open, close parenthesis and semicolon and that's a stop action so now if we you know, we should see something if we press control enter there it is there's our little animation that's crappy but this is just an armature I'm no uh, animator <laughs> I just wanted to show you how to animate the the armature of the bones through timeline and keyframes now what you can do is back in the main scene if you wanted to you can put this little guy anywhere and do anything to him so let's say you wanted him to move from here to there and maybe scale let's see let's go uh, let's try and scale him see what happens make him really small put him down here and then Let's go out to maybe frame. What was that 150 we did? Go out to frame 150. 
Let's see. Let's try and match up the timelines. Yeah, it's 150. So go to frame 150 and press F6. Creates a keyframe. Right click anywhere in the center of those two keyframes and create classic tween. Maybe the other twin. Well, let's see what happens. Let's drag him over here and make him bigger. Like that. Let's press Control Enter. Yep. So you can see with just a few keyframes. Okay, that one's looping. You would have to put a layer, new layer here, press F6, press F9, STOP, open close parenthesis, semicolon for a new step action on the main timeline. And that's it. So that shows you how you can rig up your, uh, this is an Internet Explorer now. And yes, I use Internet Explorer sometimes. I also use Safari and Firefox, so get off my back. Um, so yeah, that shows you how you can just set a few keyframes and do a little cartoony animation. You know, maybe a little it'll help your workflow a little if you like making. I know some kid in India or England, nine years old, sitting on his computer is gonna love this one. I don't care what any of y'all say. <laughs> uh, I know, man, it's a crappy animation too. All right, we'll see you next lesson.